क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन दिस इज देर इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ मास वन के जी विच इज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ प्लैंक ऑफ कैपिटल एम मास एंड दैट इज फर्दर प्लेस्ड ऑन अ फ्रिक्शनलेस फ्लोर सो दिस फ्लोर इज स्मूथ फ्रिक्शनलेस एंड द ब्लॉक इज कनेक्टेड टू एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन ऑन द प्लैंक विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ लाइट स्प्रिंग स्टिफनेस कॉन्स्टेंट हैज बीन नोन टू अस and coefficient of friction between the uh, block and the plank has been given as 0.5 initially spring is relaxed then after what you do you give the velocity v not to, to the block towards the obstruction and uh, the block stops before it reverses its direction of motion related to the plank we need to find the velocity v not g has to be used as a 10 so you, let's use the figure given and solve it now this uh, plank has been given a mass capital m this is been given a small m mass and uh, this block has been given a velocity velocity v not initially now the friction that is going to act over here is not going to be impulsive right so we uh, and for we consider small m and capital m together so that will become internal force spring force will become internal force so there will be no external force acting in the horizontal direction because there is no friction from the ground side so um uh, ultimately when this uh, block stops related to the plank that means plank and block they are going to move with the same velocity so basically we can say the combined mass combined mass let's say i'm trying symbolically like this this is capital m plus small m this is going to be moved with velocity v later on later on so and then it will keep on moving with the same velocity so can we go for uh, linear momentum conservation so using linear momentum conservation in horizontal direction we will find a small m v not must be equal to capital m plus small m v this will help us basically to find v value the velocity which the two acquires finally so small m v not divided by capital m plus small m now we need to find this v not that means we need to find this v or a relation between v and v not so this can be called as equation 1 for us now let's move ahead and talk about uh, in terms of energy and something like that so, or work energy theorem or something like that now if we apply this work energy theorem because there is a friction acting so we will say the work done by uh, all the forces should be equal to change in kinetic energy so work done by all the forces means work done by friction friction is going to do work consume some energy then there is going to be work done by spring force spring force is uh, uh, spring is going to do certain work and uh, gravity and normal relation they won't be able to do any work because motion is horizontal and uh, this has to be equal to final kinetic energy final kinetic energy is going to be half m plus capital m into v square minus initial kinetic energy initial kinetic energy is half small m v not square so that is the relation now let's try to find what is the work done by friction so we, uh, we can think of uh, when this final situation came the spring has moved by certain amount so let's say the spring has moved in this direction relative to the plank by x amount so x is the amount by which the spring has moved okay so what the work done by friction would have been friction work would have been friction force would have been in the backward direction related to the plank and uh, friction force will be doing work only for the relative motion case right so we will say it's going to be minus friction force into what the displacement x plus work done by the spring force A spring is going to pull this block if we talk about it with respect to a uh, block uh, this planks right so this is going to pull it uh, rather push it so it's going to push this block as well as well as this plank so we can uh, say that work done by a spring is going to be equal to negative of the change in potential energy that means final potential energy minus initial potential energy so work done by a conservative force we also know that is equal to negative of the potential energy in this fashion we can solve it is equal to half 
we can take half as outside small m plus capital M v square now we want we can substitute v from the first equation so we substitute from that so it's going to be like m square v naught square divided by small m plus capital M square minus m v naught square so this will become our second equation so let's erase this because we have used the first equation anyway so uh, further it will say minus f the friction into x minus final potential energy we know half kx square initially it was 0 so it will become simply half kx square the same x this is equal to from here you will find this one will get cancelled out something is common you can take so how was already common m v naught square is further coming as a common within the bracket you are getting a small m divided by small m plus capital M minus 1 if you want to simplify you can go for further simplification so uh, you will find a small m getting cancelled out when we balance this denominator here and there will be minus sign coming so that minus sign will be consumed over here so we can write it's basically coming as f x plus half k x square is equal to half and you will find there will be capital M surviving so this will be half small m into capital M v naught square divided by capital M plus small m some sort of this now this is the relation we are getting what we need to find uh, found found out let us say identify again uh, we need to find uh, uh, I need to search what to find velocity v naught we need to find okay so from here we can see v naught is there the unknown that has come here is k uh, this x k is given to us x is the unknown now how to handle this x for this let us say consider something over here now this block is stops on the uh, plank ultimately this plank and block will be moving the constant velocity that means they will have no accelerations so this will become uh, if we take the platform or frame of reference of plank so that will be an inertial frame so if we draw the block free body diagram later on block free body diagram so you will find this block free body diagram will have certain forces and there will be a spring force which is going to post by kx and you will find since it was moving relatively earlier so uh, we are drawing this as final stage right so at final stage the, to counter this there is going to be friction in this direction so friction force must be equal to kx whenever this finally uh, has stopped and this friction force will be just balancing this kx that means this will be at its max value that means it is going to be equal to mu into normal reaction so we are writing the in short this so we can say f must be equal to kx now if we need to eliminate x so we can say this x must be equal x must be equal to f by k now we know f we know k what is f f can be written as um, normal reaction which is going to be n and the gravity which is going to be small m into g so this is going to be mu small m into g and divided by k that is how x can be replaced so let's replace this x and simplify this equation that we have already used and if you put the value of x then we will find we will be able to find a solve for v naught let's uh, simplify this further so i am making this arrow so that we can think of we are further simplifying it f is f x can be written as f by k plus half k x square x square can be written as f square by k square if you deal further this this portion then you'll find this f square by k and half of this so basically it converts into 3 f square by k and if we want we can put the value of uh, that is square uh, f value or we can put it later as per our choice and this is equal to 1 by 2 uh, this is going to be 3 by 2 so there's going to be 2 surviving so it's going to be left hand uh, right hand side is half small m capital M v naught square divided by capital M plus small m 
further simplification will say from here v naught square is visible so 2 is getting cancelled out yes and you'll find it's going to be like 3 times capital m plus small m divided by um, k small m capital m and k together with there's going to be f square now we can say <coughs> Uh, this f value we know f value is mu mg so take the square root so from here we are getting that v naught comes out to be f times under root 3 capital m plus small m divided by small m capital m into k now what we can write this as mu mg so we can write it as a mu mg if you want you can take this m inside if you take this m inside a small m then it will become m square and one m will settle down so that will become thrice times small m then within the bracket small m plus capital m divided by k times capital m now all numbers are known to us like we know mu we know small m we know capital m we know uh, k value we can put here if we put here we will get our answer so this is basically expression in the form of answer now i'm leaving it for you to put the value and check and verify the answer so that should be your final answer okay thank you